Teachers of Reddit. What's the coolest thing you've confiscated of a child? A dildo. It was found in the school garden. The kid came up to me and said I found a ding dong in the garden and I'm taking it home for mum. I was not professional that day. Scorpion in a jar. The kid had put in leaves, twigs and even some smaller bugs for it to eat. Made a real habitat. However, he was clumsy as hell and had a top locker above a concrete floor. No way I was going to risk him smashing the jar and letting it loose in corridor. Gave it back to him at the end of the day with very clear instructions it was not to return to school. Eater, yes I am in Australia, but in the south so wasn't a particularly venomous scorpion. The sting would have caused about the same level of irritation as a bee sting. As for someone non-allergic. When I was a casual teacher I confiscated a knife from a 5 year old. He threatened me with it when I tried to get him to do his work. It was my first week. Frozen water bottle full of frozen margarita he was passing to his friends. 8th grade homeroom. So 13 year old sharing a cocktail at 8am. It was actually kind of clever hiding in plain sight. It did just look like a bottle of frozen water. But my teacher sense told me something was up. Edit. Plus 1 to age. I don't teach anymore and misremembered the age range of 8th graders. I think it was 4 semester, though, so more likely 13 than 14 years old. Live dragonflies. He was a little 4 year old boy that would never listen to any of the rules and generally just cause a lot of trouble. Anyway, he would catch dragonflies without harming them. When you told him to release them he would open his backpack and 2 or 3 dragonflies would fly out. A raw egg spray painted silver, a live bird caught outside, a homemade hand buzzer, a lutch at a mask. A note that said, school makes me feel like a dog waiting to be euthanized. There was a big conspiracy of exam paper trading going on around the area my school is located in. Some kid figured out a way to get the independent exam that several of the schools would purchase each year. He sold copies to anyone who would buy them, including our students. We confiscated a copy of the exam with a different school's logo on it before it was issued to our students. Eventually my school figured out we couldn't buy exams from this seller anymore as the papers for most subjects, English, Maths, Chen ETC, always made it to the kids through the black market. To my knowledge, the seller was never caught. One of my teachers took my yo-yo and tried to do a trick she once knew and smashed her window. A red back spider from the gently closed palm of a 7 year old boy's hand. Almost every recess for a month before I figured out a way to make him stop. He was never bitten. I always wonder what the teacher did with dad's xxx porn mag I brought to school when I was 7. Her mother's clitoral vibrator. She brought it to school, age 8, and told her friends it was her, the students, tension reliever, and that her mother told her to rub it across her forehead when she felt mad. She then had all of her classmates do the same. To be fair, I didn't confiscate it, my in-room intervention specialist did, and Myers had no idea what it was so she took it with her bare hands, put it in her pocket, and carried on with her day. Later on, she tried to hand it off to me and I clued her in. Just another reason my is that year hated me with a burning passion. Edit to add we called the mom. Mom confirmed what it was. That it was used as such. Kid had stolen it without permission. Also, is as short for intervention specialist. Just like the sentence right before I began using the abbreviation. An intervention specialist is is a special ed teacher. I worked in an elementary school for kids with oppositional defiance disorder. So 95% of the kids there were special ed with extreme anger issues. One time in high school my geometry teacher tried to take the phone of a kid who she thought was texting during class. Turns out, he had cut a hole in his jacket and was actually just masturbating. I was the kid, an imitation gun that used to belong to my grandfather. The thing was ancient, and was a simple single shot percussion cap pistol. The more I think about it as an older less stupid person, the more I worry that it was an actual gun, since he was a policeman, never got it back, that's for sure. Weed, and I like to think I did it in style, when I was young I did the side gig as a high school teacher for a semester, I had first and second period with this class of 15 years, 
Mostly boys. Before the first hour begins I see how one of them excitedly shows something in his pencil case to his mate. They sat in the first row. So when they whispered something like whoa, where do you get it from? And how much? It was quite obvious they have a bit of weed there. Stealth 0 stroke 100. Technically speaking I should have reported them there and then. Even involving police. Since weed is illegal where I live, they would have been in a duckton of trouble. I could have also done nothing. What I did instead is when they all left for the break. I locked the door from the inside. Opened that pencil case and pocketed the weed. The looks on their faces when they were back. Priceless. They knew I knew. They knew I knew they knew. But it's not like they could have asked me to return their weed. The quality was so so. And it was barely over a gram. This was 15 years ago and it's the only time I knowingly stole something. I don't regret it. Knives. Drugs. Boxing gloves brought to school for a fight club. Homemade bong. With no cone piece. Shiv made from an off cut of some type of acrylic made in manual arts. Spear made from a bed frame. Edited. A word. Well this is my ducking time to shine. My co-worker and I had a mild prank war going on. Somehow. The students caught wind and decided to instigate by stealing things from his room and taking it to mine and vice versa. Here are some of the things I've had to take from them and return to him. His car keys. His entire desktop computer. Portraits of George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. Pumpkins from his Halloween decorations. His desk chair. His car keys again. A student desk. His travel mug with his name on it. At this point I'm convinced my co-worker just doesn't want his car. And somehow, in the 5 minutes between his class and mine, they managed to flip all the desks in his classroom upside down. I'm not making this up. When I was a student teacher, caught a kid stealing Star Trek Next Gen novels from the school library. I knew the kid was in a horrible family mess, as they kept moving due to evictions, drugs, and violence. He never had time to settle in a school before he was moving yet again. I took the books back to the library, went home that night, and next day gave him all my copies. Hope his damn parents let him keep them. He and I discussed the purpose of learning a dead language like Latin, my subject, and comparing it to Star Trek's Universal Translator helped him connect. It's been 30 years. I still think of him. Edit. Bloody hell. My first gold silver. Ta for that. Kind stranger. Wish I could split it with the kid. Wherever he went. He left for yet another school district less than a month after my term program ended. Double edit. I feel like I should add that I was in a weird place when I did my student teaching. I'd entered university early. And the uni I was at in the US made you teach your subject in the first semester of your junior year. I was 19 trying to teach Latin to students in a semi-rural town. Several students in the senior HS class were older than me. After the third time I was hauled aside for my hall pass, I took to wearing the granny's twin set cardigan combo you could possibly imagine. Just needed verifical lenses. Where in a bun and maybe the hall monitors would have stopped pestering me. So the kid I helped was probably about 3 or 4 years younger than me. Pops. Yikes. Not a teacher. But when I was a student in 8th grade we made muzzle loading weapons, very small pistols and tiny cannons, in woodworking class out of wood, scrap metal, springs and matchboxes. We got the powder from dismantling fireworks and used dried peas for ammo. We got the idea from watching Hornblower and after that a few other kids thought it was cool as well. It went well until a teacher saw us dueling outside the school area. Many parents were called. My dad said it was the most fun PT meeting ever. Not a teacher, but one time a teacher confiscated a kid's PSP. It got stolen overnight. So she had to buy him a new one. Physics was tense from then on out. My teacher confiscated a phone case. Just the phone case, not the phone. Okay I'm not a teacher, but I'd like to think my teacher would have commented on this. My buddy had a pog maker in 4th grade. I used a Victoria's Secret magazine to make a bunch of ass and titty pogs for the board. I had them hidden in the back of my very messy desk. Sometimes we'd have desk checks and mine was so it that my teacher dumped it in front of the class. Ass and titties and pussy as pogs went flying all over. It was kick ass. My teacher confiscated a blade of a pipe saw. The kid didn't even get in trouble. 
Edit. Wow I did not expect that this will be that exciting. Not a teacher but my teacher took my mighty bean so in 2010 and still hasn't given them back so I'm guessing she thought they were pretty cool. My teacher confiscated Vaseline because they were convinced it was an electronic device. Not a teacher but a pound of weed was confiscated. I was next to the girl when it happened. Edit. Wow this really blew up. To clarify the girl that brought the weed wasn't the brightest bulb in the box she was flashing her stash to most of the kids that were no to smoke. I never really spoke to her on a regular basis but the short interactions I had with her made a lot of the things that either was strange about her. Clicked for me later. This was my first time being exposed to weed I never knew what it was until she ended up getting her stash taken away. I just thought she had some kind of disorder or maybe poor hygiene. I never asked her what the smell was, didn't want to seem rude. Yes I know I was very naive. As I've stated before she probs wiped her parents stash. A ducking dildo. Oh yeah and the teacher didn't return it. Not a teacher. But I once heard of a teacher who confiscated a World War 2 grenade, or something similar, off a kid who got it from his grandfather. Called Bomb Squad. Wasn't explosive. I think the kid got it back. And I'm assuming he got a good talking to about there's some stuff you shouldn't bring to school. Two pistols. A scimitar. A hatchet and one of those conical rice picker hats. No. Really. A lesson of mine got moved to another classroom normally used for performance drama classes due to schedule mishaps and the students went kinda crazy when they discovered the prop stash. School shootings aren't a huge concern in Finland at the moment. The last major one was in 2013. But I was still kinda surprised we had such realistic looking guns around. I got busted selling envelopes of porn mag clippings. It went from 0 to 60 real quick but the schools essentially pulled a Rico case on me. I would advertise by leaking some product and relying on word of mouth. In the bathrooms you'd see clippings taped in the stalls behind the doors. In my bag a dozen rapper posed envelopes I stole from my mom to house the classified porn. This only lasted 3 days before it became a big issue but after I was suspended it was like it never happened. Nobody talked about it because soon after you could just go online and look at porn on your phones. On a ferry to France with about 80 kids. Some buy some nerf guns. I tell them to be careful. And not fire them in public. Or I'll have to take them. By the time we but Carla, my colleagues and I have all of the nerf guns. Cue all out nerf wars on the corridors once the kids went to bed that night. And every night of the trip. I took 6 bullets off of the first grader. When I asked him where he got them. He said from the gun. I then asked how he got them out of the gun and he made the movement with his hands that showed he ejected the shells. It took him to the office. While he was there. I checked his book bag to see if he had a gun in there. Nope. Just a baggie full of credit cards with 15 different names on them. Nothing happened to the child or parent. Took a pair of handcuffs during second period today. Got a lot of grief when I walked into the office with them. Y'all know what a pen gun is? Back in elementary, the kids at my school carry that it like it's nothing. An almost life size Chucky doll. You could swap in and out a bat or knife. It also had several different things it would say. It became kind of our classroom mascot. Every day before the kids got in class I would move it around the room to a new place. I would play dumb until they noticed and act surprised. Not a teacher, but in my old school, a kid had a water gun and was squirting the kids with it. So when the teacher confiscated it, she began squirting him. Best teacher moment I have ever seen. Not a teacher but a student I had made Tor's hammer in shop class principal took it for making a weapon. Educational assistant, but whatever, a makeshift taser. This kid had rigged up a taser using a couple of 9 volt batteries, wire tape, and some sort of button from what could have been a toy. It wasn't dropping kids, but it was enough to make you jump. I was impressed, but also wanted to pull the little its arms off and slap the snot out of him with his own arms because he kept stabbing girls in the chest with it. Middle school kids are a weird point where they are too smart for children, but are certainly not human. I took a plastic lightsaber to school in first grade for show and tell. They reacted like it was a mass destruction weapon. 
not a teacher, but my teacher stole my hentai manga, and I saw him reading it after class. Man is a true G. Never got my book back though. A kid in my class had a BB gun. The VP noticed it as he crossed the room. He took it out of the bag and was giving the kid a bollocking when he shot himself in the hand with it. VP went mental and smashed it off the table. Kid's parents supposedly demanded the VP compensated them for said gun. A lit match. From a pocket. An you know switch card that he tried to use on me when I announced that he was getting a detention. Mom used to be a teacher in the 90s. She confiscated a small device. Looks like a really small calculator the size of a hand. That translates words from English to Spanish, French, and Japanese. The student was too distracted by that device to pay attention in class. And she asked the student to get it from her after class. The student never showed up. Didn't go to school the next day. Family moved to a different town after a week. I think it has something to do with family drama. I was 5 or 6 at that time and I played with it every day. Now that I'm older and have an interest in learning languages, I realize how that must have been very useful back when Google and smartphones weren't a thing yet. Not a teacher, but was a student. A few half gallon zippered bag of baby carrots that were in tiny packages. Let me explain. Back in 8th grade, my friend and I took these carrots every day from the lunch line and had other people get some as well. We'd throw them into these bags and we made a house in his locker at the end of the year with them. We had a few bags confiscated. But needless to say, the build was a success. Times were simpler then. One bag of carrots equals a brick. In our day, each bag was probably like 2-3 pounds or mayo. Edit. Not to sound like a normie, but thanks for all the upvotes. Didn't expect this to kinda blow up like it did. Not a teacher but back in 6th grade a teacher confiscated a swiss army knife from a kid. Later turned out that his dad was a little drunk that night and accidentally put it in the kid's bag instead of his hunting bag. My mom worked in administration at a middle school. Whatever was confiscated had to be claimed by parents. This was the 90s zeros. So lots of game boys. If they weren't claimed within a year, they were basically free game. Pun not intended. I got so many Gamma Boys. I would take them to GameStop and trade in like 9 of them for various games and stuff. Damn what a great childhood. Sucks for those kids but. I guess they didn't wanna tell their parents they took their games to school. Not a teacher. Just a mom. About 3 years ago my daughter's best friend. 12 at the time. Ordered a headband with cat ears and a matching tail on eBay. Turns out she unknowingly ordered a butt plug with a cat tail attached to it. The poor girl had no idea what it was. But after some internet searching she figured it out and came running over to my house to hide it from her parents. I will never forget the look on her face when she was trying to explain what had happened. I didn't necessarily confiscate it because she begged me to dispose of it for her. But I still think it was absolutely hilarious. I'm just thankful that her insane mother didn't see it and that the kids are comfortable enough to come to me with literally any problem. So that's how my 12 year old daughter learned about butt plugs. Thanks internet. I confiscated a fidget spinner from a kid who used to play with it all the time. He claimed it helped him concentrate. I gave it back at the end of the day and observed him over the next weeks. He really did study better when he was playing with it. Went out and got one for myself. Still absolutely love it years later. I dunno if this counts as a confiscation, but my senior year I took a sewing class and decided to make my prom dress. It was this simple light blue sequin dress, material from Walmart lol, and I spent the whole semester working on it. Well, I have no idea whatever happened to it as I didn't wear it to prom, but think the teacher held onto it and didn't give it back. A student of hers a few years earlier had made underwear or something in class and then later got pregnant. So the teacher always associated anything that could be sexual with that student and didn't want another teen pregnancy happening. I guess she felt like it was her fault. This was in 2001. I'm biologically female and identify as such. Hence why the teacher held onto the dress. She probably thought I'd repeat the same mistake as her former student. That is. Getting pregnant. I didn't. Edit. Info. A duck's egg. It smelled horrible. She told me she found it in the park. It was winter. 
She was keeping it in her hat hoping it was still alive. Sorry, child. When I was in high school I sat next to a pretty funny dude. We used to goof off and have a good time. He sold weed, but I didn't think anything of it. I don't use and he didn't really ask anyone if they wanted to buy. Kids just knew where to go. He got busted with a dinner bag at school. School searches car. Car has two pounds of weed. A few eight balls of coke. A handgun. An AR pistol. Obviously the cops get called. Car was stolen. He just showed back up on Facebook last year, which would be about a 10 year stint. He goes by a different name now and apparently found Islam. Rumor had been that he had to disappear for a while after he got out because he was dealing for someone else and all that it that got confiscated was on loan. Edit. I actually found the article about it. He was also charged with first degree murder. Later. A brand new flip phone. Worth $1000 retail at the time. 2001, her dad was a local gang leader and the local electrical store had been recently broken into. I put two and two together but I was ultimately between rock and hard place. Take it to cops I'd be in trouble with gang. I'll admit, taking it for my personal use did cross my mind but again I'm too it scared to do that kind of stuff. So I just kept it in my drawer. I had intended on giving it back if she ever asked but the girl wasn't even bothered by it and never asked for it back. No such thing as Wi-Fi and apps so the phone had limiting appeal to an 8 year old with no SIM card. I forgot about it and found it a few years later at the back of my drawer. Side note it had appreciated significantly and I ended up throwing it out. I'm not a teacher but one time a friend brought a gun and it was confiscated. I don't live in the US. Kendama. I'm getting better at it from practicing with confiscated Kendamas. Those things are fun. Not me but my mother is a school teacher in rural Australia. And last week she confiscated a gun from a 10 year old. Now that's pretty eventful as is in Australia that's not normal. But this kid has brought a handgun. Like an illegal handgun. No one has any clue how the kid got it. A teacher at my school claimed she confiscated a pipe bomb. It triggered an evacuation and the kid was expelled. This was at a Christian school. 